Okay, we're going to make an adaptive component louver, um, a straight one, and then we'll make a one that's curved. So you're going to go to Family, New, scroll down until you get to Generic Model Adaptive, select that, click Open. It's going to open a template for you. I'm going to quickly change my background. And you're going to get two vertical reference planes and one horizontal level one reference plane. This is a two point. So we're just going to need two points to start from. So go ahead and click on point element and place two points. One, two. Go to the modify to stop the point select creation and window around and make those adaptive. Okay. Next thing we want to do is draw a line between the two of them. So go to reference line and turn on 3D snapping. So we want to make sure that these points glue themselves to these adaptive points. So the end of the line, ends of the line are stuck to the adaptive points. Okay. So now I've got that set up. And also if you want to go in and check it, you can always go in and kind of move this around and make sure that those, those lines are moving with the adaptive points when they move. Okay. Next thing you want to do is host two points on this line. So I'm going to come in and pick point element. I'm going to make sure that draw and face is selected. I'm going to hover over that line until the point turns small and left click and do the same thing over here and left click. Now what I'm going to do is draw two lines on each of these points. So I want those lines to be hosted on the point plane. So I'm going to select one point plane that's going to make it current. I'm going to go to draw reference. I'm going to make sure that draw and work plane is selected and that 3D snapping is off. This will ensure that it is locked to the plane of the point. Then I'm going to left click snapping on that point and I use my blue alignment line to align it out to the right. Okay. Then I'm going to pick that, go to modify to stop the line command, come back, pick that, make that dimension permanent. Do the same thing over here, pick the point to make it current, go to draw reference and pick that point, making sure that draw and work plane and 3D snapping is not on. Draw over to the right using the blue alignment line, pick modify to stop the line command, select the line make the dimension permanent by clicking on the icon, pick these two at the same time, the dimensions, go to label, add parameter, call that louver width. Okay. Now at this point we can create the louver. So we can pick that, hold down the control key, pick the line and pick that and go to create form. And it's going to create, if I go to shaded down here, it'll be easier to see, but it'll, it created a little flap right there. So it's just a little louver. Now there's two more things that we want to do. We want to be able to rotate this louver. And we also want these points to go to the ends of that line. So let's do the rotation first. I'm going to window around this point. And when you window around a point up in the properties dialog box, you get a rotation angle that allows you to assign a parameter to it or to associate a family parameter. So I'm going to left click on that little gray box, add parameter, and I'm going to name this one angle. Okay. Click OK. And then I'm going to do this, use, do the same thing over here, left click and assign the same angle parameter. So both of them have the same angle parameter. Now if I pan this over a little bit, I can go to the angle and I can set that to 45 and hit apply. And it's going to yell at me because it says it's off, slightly off, but don't worry about that. You can see it'll do that. I'll get negative 45. It'll do negative 45, or you can go back to zero and hit apply. So we could add a new family type that's, you know, two foot by 45 and click OK and say two and 45 and hit apply. Click OK. New one. We'll name this one one foot six. And we'll do this one 30. All right. So we could do one foot six and 30. 
and apply. Okay. Now the last thing we want to do is get those points to the end of that line. And we can also use the points, um, another point parameter to do that. So I'm just going to window around this point. And in the properties dialog box, it's going to say there's down sort of lower in this property dialog box is a normalized curve distance. So it just takes that, that line and turns it into a 1. And it says that's 0 0.42 from the end of that line. Well, we can put a parameter on that. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to add parameter. I'm going to name it point offset. Okay, and click OK. Now, if I pick the other point, right, it's going to have this similar distance, and it's going to say it's point six, right? So it's point six. So we want this to actually be from the end instead of the beginning, and we want it to be set to the same. And now if we go to the point offset, we can set that to zero and apply, and both of those will shoot out to the end of that line. And that gives you a louver, an adaptive louver that you can rotate. Okay? All right, we'll apply this to a form um, in the next videos.